Hello, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade Sport Conversations. Let's go down to where we were up to last time. Uh, we did the two, the two wife and riders last time, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, so, uh, Hawkeye, I've done Hawkeye Pant, I've done Hawkeye Louise. Hawkeye Ninian, I guess. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm. You are safe. Yes, Lord Hawkeye. I thank you. You look tired. I will ask Lord Elwood to give you lighter duties. No, I'm fine. I mean, to be fair, she's dancing around on the battlefield like every two seconds, so I could see why she has muscle cramps. I see. Then I will grow. Be careful. Yes, excuse me, Lord Hawkeye. Thank you for caring so much for someone like me. In the village, I have a daughter. You look like you could be a friend of hers. The village. Nabata village, my home. I guess, um, uh, Igreen is, uh, friends with Faye, so I guess, yeah, she does have a dragon friend in that regard. Lord Hawkeye, you live in Nevada, don't you? Yes. Deep within the dunes, be uh, behind the desert wind, there lies our home, the village of dragons. Village of dragons. Our village is protected by Athos. It is also called Utopia. Humans and dragons live together in peace. Humans and dragons? Is that true? Does such a place really exist? It does. Hmm. I travelled with Nils for a long time, but I had never heard of it. The village of dragons exists. There are humans there and dragons. There is no fighting. <laughs> what a wonderful place it must be. Dragons living with people. I have dreamt of it. Hmm. Okay, I guess in the future then, you know. Well, I mean, if you get the Ninian uh, Elliwood ending, then her wish kind of does get uh, become a reality. Lord Hawkeye. Hmm. <coughs> uh -uh. May I ask you something? I... well... I know. You need, uh, you need say nothing. I've heard it from my master, from Lord Athos. Listen, my master said this to me. Humans and dragons fight and fear one another. This has not changed for a thousand years. Most humans now have never seen a dragon. Uh, okay, if this, if this was just like, I don't know, like a Shin Megami Tensei game or something, like some other like JRPG, I'd be like, okay, fair enough. You know, set in our world. Lots of humans, lots of demons, whatever. If it's kind of like that, okay, fair enough. But you have to keep in mind, this world is one where there's wyvern generals that have troops of wyverns flying around. So I don't know what the resistance would be, you know, of a human, of a villager being like, oh, I can tolerate wyverns, but dragons just scare me too much. Like, is it really that different? Like, <laughs> the fear still remains carried down over time. I don't entirely get that, if I'm going to be honest with you, but yes. But humans can change. Humans live only a short time, but they can learn and feel much in that time. So they can change. Hmm. Humans and dragons can understand one another. The day they will understand each other will come. I believe the master when he said so, yes. I believe it too. Okay, that was a sweet one. Let's hop over to Matthew. Okay, let's... Uh, we have a couple to do. Uh, we've done Guy Sarah Osborne, so we've got three for Matthew. Let's take a look. Matthew Hector. Good day, young master. How fare you? How fare you? Oh, Matthew. I've heard you're quite strong, you know. But if there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. And just say the word and I'll swipe uh, healing bombs from our very enemies. I might just ask for that later on, yeah. Say, aren't you a bit hungry? Now that you mention it. Should have brought some ra uh, rations or something, I guess. Leave it to me. I thought we might have needs. I packed some before we left. Here, put it in your sack there. That was thoughtful. I mean, hey, what are you doing putting it in my pack? You are strong, young master. That's not the point. Man, and I thought my bag was heavy before. You don't give your master extra to carry, got it? Nah, but you always were so generous, my lord. I ought to... Man, why do I get stuck with all the lame henchmen? Hey, young master, wait up for me. That is kind of true. Aliwood did kind of get the better end of the stick. You know, you got Lowen who can cook pretty much anything. Uh, it's very humble, very polite. You got Marcus that's incredibly powerful and all that. And then uh, Hector's stuck with Sarah and Matthew, so I do kind of feel for him a little bit. Young master, please wait. What, forget to take out the pepper. What? No, not that. Why are you still upset about that? I mean, allow me to walk with you. Matthew, what's gotten into you? Don't you have Judas in the back guard? Why come up here on the front lines? I can use a sword too, my lord. Yeah, but do not fear. I always have you to protect me should things turn sour. Jesus. Man. My apologies, young master. Please allow me to serve you this once with my six strength. I won't be a burden, that I promise. It just never stops. Fine, if you want to help that bird, I won't stop you. But don't overdo it, you hear? Of course, my young master. Okay. A rank. Young master. Now, if it isn't Matthew, you've got more pepping than you than I'd thought. Nothing compared to my lord. Yeah, but you sure have changed. And I told Layla that Spy shouldn't be out fighting. Oh, yes. I used to think that very proper myself. Instead of sweating, why not leave fighting to others while I fulfill my duties behind the scenes? But since leaving on this journey, I've had what you might call a change of heart. 
banned Yu-Gi-Oh card? Um, ha, huh, you don't say. Great, well, what say we spar a little way? Eh? My lord, but please have mercy. A mere nudge from your axe would send me in to fight. Hey, you have weapon triangle, so never know till you try, eh? I got a grudge to, rather, I got to pay back what I owe. <laughs> Call it what you will, I'm having none of it. Oh, it's not like you to bear a grudge so long, my lord. Enough to chat, let's go. Okay. Uh, Jafar and Matthew, so two uh, assassins. Hey, you. Well, one is a lot more cold-hearted than the other, but, hmm. You're Jafar, right? You're, you're a black fang, aren't you? Do you know a girl named Leia? Hmm. She was a spy in the service of House Dostia. She infiltrated Black Fang to get information on the enemy and died. So, did you know her? Hmm. Leia was the best spy we had working for us. The person who killed her, even in the Black Fang, had to be, have been very skilled. One of the four assassins they call the Four Fangs. It was you, wasn't it? Hmm. Yes. Oh, what was that? <laughs> I guess they slashed at each other. The guy who killed Layla. I know it won't be so easy to take you down. And this is the only greeting I have for you, Jafar. I don't know what Lord Hector or Lord Elwood thinks, but you're going to pay him. When you're dying at my hands, you'll remember Layla's name. Mm. Okay, be rank. Are they still going to be at each other's throats, perhaps? Most definitely. You. Mm. Okay, scum. <laughs> okay, it's over. Blast. Layla. Hmm? You. Hmm. Stop playing around. Are you trying to save my life? Do you think this will make amends? Mm. You killed Layla. You stole her life. Her voice is smart. You stole everything. You'll pay for that. I'll make you pay. Mm. If you're not going to kill me, I'll make you regret it. I will dedicate my entire life to bringing you to your grave. Jesus Christ. Remember this one truth, Jafar. Mm. Okay. <laughs> A rank. And they're not going to talk. Hey, Jafar. What was it? Nino? Was that the girl's name? <laughs> That's right, my friends already have her restrained. You make a move and the girl dies. <laughs> yes, it's dishonorable, but you know nothing of honor, do you? Don't move, Jafar. If you hold still, Nina won't be harmed, I promise. I understand. You got nerve, I'll say that. Though, can you see me? I'm gonna put an end to this right now. Hmm. Okay. Ah, Layla. Is this right? Is this what you want? Mm hmm. Why? Lord Edward, he told me. You have no will of your own. You only acted on Nurgle's orders. He said that the only one who really killed Layla was Nurgle. Mm -hmm. that, that doesn't matter to me. You were Layla's enemy. That will never change. Yet, the moment I was about to kill you, Layla, she stopped me. Mm -hmm. uh, all I could think of was how to bring you down. If I could do that, I would be able to mourn Layla. That's what I believed. Mm -hmm. Go. The girl's safe. I never touched her. Uh, Matthew, is that your name? What? That woman. There was a name clinging to her final breath. She said Matthew. Really? Hmm. Okay. Nice. I like it. Uh, let's jump over to the Lagot. There's another group of two um, thieves, of course. I wonder how Matthew's going to react, because Lagot was also an ex-Black Fang member as well. Hmm. And who would you be? Hmm. You're Black Fang, right? Hold on, relax. Former Black Fang. I've nothing to do with them anymore. I wonder. Disguise yourself, get close to the enemy. I'm familiar with these duties, as are you. I understand your point. It is difficult to take a traitor on his own, I'll wager. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to kill me? And then tell your friends that I turned my coat on them as well? I'd love to, but I've no proof that you're an enemy, and so I can't. But don't forget. As long as you're here, I'll be watching you. Am I, oh my, I'm not a popular fellow at all. Well, that's kind of the definition of being a popular fellow, having all the eyes on you, but sure. Legault. What was your nickname in the Fang? What kind of work did you do? So now I'm your new hobby, is that it? You're f uh, falling for me? I'm not in the mood for your jokes. Tell me. Alright, no need to get testy. I was a member of the Black Fang when you could count us all on two hands. They took me in because of my nimble ability. In the organization, I was known as The Hurricane. My job, like everyone else's, was assassination. The only difference were my targets. I was the one charged with cleaning house. Cleaning house? Yep. As a cleaner, I was responsible for executing anyone who betrayed the Fang. Interesting how Jafar was the one that killed Layla, but okay. Black Fang members never beg for mercy. I mean, she didn't betray them, but you get what I mean. They'd rather die than be captured. It's because they know what happens to traitors. You can never run from the cleaner. That's Fang's law. I work to protect that law. Really? The Black Fang seems filled with some powerful fellows, and you? You don't look like much. He's got a high strength, uh, status, I'll have you know. Yeah, but you know, people have to sleep sometime. But then you know all about work like that, don't you? Hmm. Killing people you've lived and worked with for years. You'll find yourself hated uh, pretty quickly. That's one thing that makes this place comfortable. I can just be a simple hanger on. Are you satisfied? Mm. Well, that's alright. I'm not asking that you believe me right away. Okay, and Aira? Hmm. What, you again? More questions for me? No one trusts me, even after all that rambling I did earlier. 
It's one other important thing I haven't asked you. Why did you betray the Black Fang? Hmm. Don't really have to go into all this. Hmm. Okay, I see. I hate the Black Fang the way it used to be. The commander was a father figure. Lloyd Linus Jan and Uhai. There was nothing to be suspicious of then. We believed in our own righteousness. We can't go back back to the good old days. You understand, right? Right? Hmm. Sony's arrival was the beginning of the end. The change came slowly, but the Fang rotted away bit by bit. And it was all doing of one creepy villain, Nurgle. The Fang changed, and as it changed, so did our work. Hmm. Those who had no taste for killing the wounded who couldn't work, we started receiving orders to kill these innocents too. So, I was ordered by some stranger to kill a wounded companion of mine. Her name was Aisha, a woman I'd worked with for years. Hmm. She'd make a mistake and her wound cost her her skill at killing. Her career as an assassin was over. But she shouldn't have to die for that. She could have lived in some village somewhere. She should have had many days of happiness ahead of her. But... Hmm. And with this hand, I took her life. That's when it started. That's when I started thinking about getting out. Mm. That's it? You satisfied? Um, the gold. Hmm? I'm sorry. What's this? Hearing you say that just made my day. Don't get the wrong idea. I don't trust you any more than before, but everyone's got a place in their house that they don't want to touch. That's it. <laughs> Matthew, you're a good kid. Yeah, it's a shame to waste you as a spy. Oh, shut up. I guess he saw himself within him, right? With losing Layla and whatnot. Speaking of, let's go over to Jafar. We did Nino's one, so I guess Jafar Legault is going to be interesting. Well, the Angel of Death, I've not seen you in some time. That's what the Angel of Death fans say to my channel whenever they go out. Anyways, um... <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Hurricane. I was shocked to see you fighting with this rabble. I never thought to see Nurgle's right hand man here. Hmm. The Black Fang's finished, isn't it? The commander's dead. The four fangs are gone. Everything went crazy after you all appeared. So how does that make you feel, Angel of Death? Hmm. It's true, no point in talking to you is there. Yeah, it's just like your friend Sonia said. You truly are soulless. <laughs> you know me, you know my strength. You know how I fight, what are you gonna do? You know if you can kill me or not. But you don't know me at all. What I like, what I dislike, the kind of life I've led up until now? You don't know, and there's no reason for you to know. To an assassin, it's also much useless information. Mm. There was countless corpses stacked one on top of the other, and there atop the bodies they found a lone infant sleeping. You, you are death incarnate. You feel nothing, fear nothing, desire nothing, you kill nothing more. Angel of death, the perfect name. <sighs> okay. I wonder why it's angel, huh? I guess because angels take people up to the heavens, maybe? I don't know. Okay. So we meet again, Angel of Death. Hmm. Uh, oh, I heard that. You rescued Nino. Demon of life, I guess, is the opposite. Yeah, that's awfully cute, isn't it? When you just slip around some words a little bit. When she told me, I was surprised. What curious turn of events prompted that? Hmm. Never mind. Seeing that girl alive is a huge relief. Sounds like Jan's alive too. Life's not all bad, I guess. Don't know why I'm telling you, though. You surely do not care. Hurricane? <sighs> Don't do that. Warn me when you're about to talk. It's not polite to frighten me. I have a favor I want you to do. If I die, I care uh, take care of Nino. What? One surprise after another, you worried about the girl. The Black Fang's most powerful assassin, the Angel of Death. Mm. You spoke truly, I have no heart. I know nothing of joy, sorrow, anger, dread. And yet I am afraid. That I should die, that I should leave Nino alone. That frightens me. No, oh, you... Ah, uh, now I see. You don't speak, you don't smile, and you're still creepy. But it looks as though you've changed quite a bit. Okay, A rank. But you and Nino, I just don't understand the way life works. Nah. Can I ask you just one question? Do you plan to wed this child? Jesus, it's a joke, don't glare at me. <laughs> the girl adores you, you should stay with her. But you know what that means, don't you? <clears throat> You've gotten soft angel of death, it's someone held at Nino hostage, you'd throw down your sword. You were the strongest assassin around. Now you have a fatal chink in your armor. You've become human, but that makes you less perfect. Someday you'll die, no doubt trying to protect the girl. That's fine. I will live with Nino, I've decided. I say in that case, fine. Lloyd and Linus were worried about Nino too. Protect her for them as well. I really don't have much to add. Do your best. No. You can show some emotion? That's not bad. Angel of Death Jafar. Okay. I like it a lot. Um, is there one more for Ninian? Ninian Aliwood, right? Um, we've done... No, we haven't done Florina's ones. Never mind. We did a Hawkeye's one. Uh, yeah, I'll do Eliwood's one. I mean, I already did this uh, on camera, but I'm still going to do it again for you guys. Lord Eliwood, Ninian, I'd like to thank you. <laughs> what is it? Why the full melody? Lady Lynn told me. She told me it was you. You were the one who helped me one year ago. Oh, that. I apologize. I had lost consciousness, and I fear I never properly thanked you, Lord Eliwood. Don't let it concern you. I wanted to help. But still... <laughs> I know. Next time you're free, show me your dancing. Not one of the little dances. Something special. Special dance, my lord. Ah, sorry. Didn't mean to sound 
too forward. No, not at all. I mean, I'd be glad to. Great, then it's a deal. I'll be looking forward to it. Yes, I am too. Okay. B rank. I shape them so hard. And for every year, we hold a grand harvest festival. Everyone in the land comes to eat, drink, and dance. That sounds like fun. You should come too, Ninian. Everyone would be happy to see you dancing, I think. The ones you showed me the other day was truly beautiful. Thank you. My mother too loved dancing, you know, she would be pleased. At festival time, she danced all night like a young maiden. My father always clucked his tongue and shook his head, but each year he would dance with her until dawn. Ah, oh, I guess that's the real battle before dawn, isn't it? Okay. Forgive me, you must think of my father often enough. No, it's right, I mean, not compared to you, Lord Elliwood. Nina, remember what I told you? My father's death was not your fault. You should not blame yourself, not at all. But Lord Elliwood, you, you're wrong. You don't know everything that... What? I have been deceiving you. Deceiving? What do you mean? It is just... I'm sorry. Ninian? Ninian, don't cry. I don't know what has happened, but I do not... I uh, know I never want to see you so sad. And at A rank? Here we are. Ninian. <sighs> Lord Elliwood. I finally caught up with you. What's wrong, Ninian? Why the long face? Please do not worry on my account. I am not worthy. I'm not even worthy to stand in your sight, Lord Elliwood. I have been deceiving you. Yes, as you were saying before. Ninian. <sighs> you have been keeping some secret from us. Yes. But you can't tell me what it is, am I right? Yes. Very well. What? Yeah, if it's too hard for you to talk about, I will not force you. Just, if you ever feel able, tell me then. But I have been false. I have lied to you and the others. Ninian, I love you. That will not change, no matter what may it come. Lord Elliwood, I don't care what your secret is, I will still feel the same. If something troubles you, let me sweep it away. Please, don't cry anymore. I will do anything to see you smile again. You are the first woman I've ever felt this way about, Ninian. Lord Elliwood, I, I don't know what... Lord Elliwood, Lord Elliwood. Yeah, it's it's a sweet one, I like it a lot. Uh, Florina and Ninian, we haven't seen. In the lava cave, of course. Ah, uh, Dame Florina. You know, you really don't have to call me that. You can just call me Florina. Oh, alright, Miss Florina. Say, Miss Florina, you're from Ilia, right? Um, yes. Ninian, you know about Ilia? Yes. They are white mountains covered with snow, and I was um, born there. Y you are? Wow, you and I are from the same place, then. That's funny, I feel so much closer to you now. Well, we should definitely talk more. Sure, that would be nice. Okay. Short but sweet. Birank, um, Ninian. Yes, what is it, Miss Florina? Can I- can I ask you for some advice? You wanna ask me for advice? What about? Well, you see, I- I'm really bad at talking to men, and I can't seem to even get along with all the soldiers we fight alongside, so what do you think I could do to, you know, make it easy to talk to people? Well, I feel like you sort of picked the wrong person to ask. I don't think I'm really all that good at talking to people either. Oh, alright, I just thought, you know, you're just so easy to talk to. Well, I feel the same way about you. So then, we can count on each other's friends from now on, right? Yes, absolutely. It's kind of cute in a way, isn't it? It's like the two super shy girls trying to overcome their fears together. <laughs> So Ninian, where, uh, where in Ilia were you born? Because I was born in Edessa. That's where the Pegasi gather at the spring of Pyrene. That's definitely not somewhere I'm going to visit. Uh, I'm not so good at geography, but it was near the tallest mountain in Ilia. You mean the mountain of the Ice Dragon? Ice Dragon? Yes. A long time ago, there was a tall mountain where an ice dragon lived. Don't you know this story? I'm sorry, I don't. I've been traveling for a long time with my brother and... Oh, I see. Well, a long time ago, there was an ice dragon in Ilia. And this kind dragon helped the people of Ilia who had trouble living in snow year round. But a war broke out between dragons and people, and the kind dragons not wanting to hurt the humans went off to a far away place. My sister first told me that story as a child to make me go to bed. Even now, every other people in the area make an offering to the mountain. When I was little, I so wanted to meet that ice dragon that I braved the cold and waited all night next to the place of the offering. But I saw dawn the next morning and the dragon never came. Then I caught a cold and my sister got very upset with me. You waited all night? Miss Florina, weren't you afraid of that dragon? Afraid? Why? Doesn't everyone t uh, think the dragons are terrifying man-eating beasts? I mean, how could uh, two different species ever get along? It doesn't matter what species you are, look at me. My Pegasus and I are of different species. Yeah, I guess so. Pegasi are all very shy around humans, but I'm kind of that way too. <laughs> uh, she she really is. Florina really is like a My Little Pony fan, isn't she? <laughs> like, just just vibes alone, you know. Um, at first, this sweet mare and I were so afraid of each other. It didn't go so well, but we played together and swam together, and soon we get, began to understand each other, and that's how we became friends. So even if two be uh, beings may be shaped a little differently, that doesn't mean they can't get along. I see. Yeah, you must be right. I mean, we get along, don't we? Exactly the right mindset to have, y'all. Um, <laughs> in terms of, you know, even real world, right? Like, we're all different, but... Let's all get along. Um, and with that, I think that's a nice high uh, note to end it off. We did four different characters. Um, so yeah, we'll keep going down the list next time. Hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.